Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. This video I am making for the, uh, for the request of one of my friends who contacted me sometime, some, sometime before and asked me how can we create active relationship especially when our project have been contain, uh, containing external relationship means if the project are inter uh, uh, the, the project have inter project relationships the project the he has a huge project containing more than 50000 activities and it project uh, uh, they are the, there are several projects are interrelated or you can say interconnected so he want to create the detailed report for external relationship so that he can control all the uh, for the other contractors program as well so let's see how can we create activity relationship reports from Primera P6. So Primera P6 offers us two ways to create activity relationship. One is the import and export tool and the other is the report tool. The, in, the import, in the report tool generated the consolidated report for, for the, all the open projects. For example, if you have three or four projects, they are interrelated with each other. So if you're using, using you are generating the uh, relationship report using the report tool, then it will create one single Excel file containing all the projects together in the same file. However, if you use import and export tool, the import and export tool created the separate report, a separate Excel file for each open projects or selected projects. So in this way, uh, somehow report tool is more convenient for, as per my personal uh, work, working with on the primary, primary P6. So uh, let's see how can we create the report using the import and export tool in primary P6. So in the primary pieces when you are going to file and go export button in the export dialog box will come out. Here we can select spread sheet. Uh, you have several options here. Primera file, XCR file, you want to export in the XCR format. So we select the fourth option, which is spreadsheet. And after this, we go select the next button. So once we select the next button, we export uh, we, what we can export option will come up. So here we have activities, activity relationship, expense, resource, resource assignment. So here we want to create the relationship report. So we select activity relationship and then press next. Once we press next, the project uh, uh, list will be open. Here you can see the all the open project will be shown. And here from here you can select the project you want to create the relationship reports. Then you can go uh, select the next. When you select the next, the, uh, the next template uh, dollar box will come up. Here you can create a new template for the activity relationship. Uh, I already have created name with project relationship. And then we select the modify and then next button. So once we select the next button, the, we have the this modify template dialog box will come up. Here you have option for columns, filter, and sort to and sorting the option. You, we will see this, this, this uh, in little bit detail in Primera P6. And then after this all uh, settings, we go to, to next. When we go next, the it will open us uh, the select Excel file here. You can see from here you can select the location of the file from where you want to save this relationship report because we have three projects open and all we select that we selected all the three projects. So the it shows us the report for the three projects. So here from here we select the project name uh, and report name and report location and then we go next. So then after this we can go and check the report. Uh, in the file location, we save it. Now the next uh, method to generate the relationship report is the report tool. In the report tool, we just go tool and select the report. And when this report wizard open, then we have to select the new report uh, and then select next. When we select next, then this select uh, subject area will come out. Here we will not select now time distribution data. We'll discuss this option in some other videos after later on. Here just we select activity relationship and then press next. Then after this next, we will go select the columns, the columns you want to be in the report. So this successor project, free float, critical, this also we'll see a little bit in primary itself. It will be more convenient and understandable there then after selecting the required column just press ok once you press ok uh, you will see that uh, display option will come up here you want to see how many how do you want to display the project based on their wps or based on the project you selected this will be uh, selected from here this is this is the uh, display option is same as normally we are using to organize our activities in primary p6 uh, on the screen or in the printouts so once we select this one, we just select again the report title. We select the report title from here and then we just select next. 
After selecting the next, you have to select the run report button and just to be safe set, remove this. Uh, sometime you can click it and sometime you remove it. And then this, just select the next button and it will generate the report. So now we will see this procedure little bit detail in Primera P6 itself. Open, uh, now I open the Primera and you can see that we have, I make uh, three projects, small projects just for the demonstration purpose here. We have uh, training project one, project 001 and project 005. So we know uh, if you want to select multiple projects at the same time, we select all the projects. So I select the first project and then shift button and select the last project. And once we select this all three projects, we just go right click and open the project. So it will open all three projects. Okay, and here you can, if you press control minus button, it will uh, summarize all the projects. You can see that we have three projects open. And uh, uh, then if you want to open it, can press control plus button. And you can see the, uh, actually a little bit detail here also. So I just go view and show bottom, I remove no bottom layout. So you can see here, we have only few activities here. Okay, and here, and this activity, if you see a little bit, uh, uh, Carefully, you can say, see the internal project relationship. For example, this activity for the project TRP001 elevator installation is linked with the activity PR010 of the uh, project 001. So, if you go in the view and show bottom uh, activity details and we go in relationship, you can see that this activity of project 001 is linked with the uh, activity of uh, uh, of the third project, for example, this uh, 005, if you select a tendering project, tendering project is here, tendering procedure, okay. So if you click here and it will go to the uh, this project and similarly if you come here and you can see that PR020 is linked with the, okay, so this project I'll interlink also and if you go actually 001, if you, it is linked with 20. Actually, 0P is linked with the X, uh, 001 execution, uh, actually 001 external 001 and we have elevator solution. So if you click elevator solution and press go to, it will go to the project ERP 001. So I just want to show that this project having the internal relationship and when we are importing and ex uh, exporting this project, uh, importing this project and send to some of our friends, so we have to be very careful because if this uh, relationship are there and this uh, the other it will open in other some other machine which don't have your database. So this all the activity uh, which have the external external link will be come out as the external uh, uh, as will be come out the uh, uh, external uh, start of negate in the program and which will be considered as constraint for this uh, in the other machine. So this constraint will be automatically generated without our inform intimation. So be careful when we are making, when you are importing or expect, exporting the, pro, uh, the project from other sources that there are no external relationships. So you, after this watching, carefully watching this our small projects and their inter project dependencies and relationship, now we try to generate the report. So first method to generate the activity relationship report is to go file and select the export button. And once you select option export dialog will become out. Here we have several options. You want to uh, export the file in the XCR format. And here one of the fourth option is the spreadsheet option. So just click this one and click next. When we select next, there the export uh, option will come out. Here we just select the activity relationship. We can export expo expenses, resources, activity data also. So we just select the activity relationship and select next. And then the, all the open project will be shown. So if you want to show, see the report for all these three projects, select all these projects and then next. This project relationship, uh, you can create one more template from by adding, or uh, you can just create or modi uh, modify the existing report. So just I make one report, active relationship, and it is same as you are creating new one. And in modify, in the modify, you can hear that we have producer. So just rearrange this one. So for example, I go ahead producer activity name, and we have producer 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 project name you go in general tab and you can see here producer wbs there's no need success wbs there's no need okay then we have producer creator status no need success uh, 
predecessor actually says status is not doing with it in Mars. You cannot remove this one. Predecessor project, just take this up. Then predecessor project, okay, and then predecessor activity status, okay, just take it up, okay, and then predecessor activity name, take this up also. Okay. So let's successor project, take this up, successor activity status, successor activity name, okay, then relationship type, log, lag, and critical, yes or no, driving, yes or no. So if you are make, even making the new report, just put the information in the same format as I mentioned here, it will be more useful. Then filter, if you want to make some fil filter for any option activities, you can put it here. Sorting, uh, I make based on the producer project on the base of this one. Just click OK and then next. And now you can see here that our report is going to generate now. And here it will show you the location. So if you want to see the location, just click this one and click these three dot buttons. And it will show you that the where the project is going to open. So if you have this one, generate project report for activities. And here you can see that there is nothing shown here. So just click next, press next, and then finish. So once it is finished, we just go our project where we save the location. And you can see that we have created this three report. This You can see time here, 841. And this is also 841. So this report is just generated now. And this we have three project, training project one, uh, and project 001 and 005, as I show you here sometime before. If I make control minus button, the older project will be summarized and you can see here that we have three project training project 001 project 001 and project 005 so just three report are generated in prime in excel so just open one of the report okay and you can see this also just all the relationship types are be shown on the screen now okay you can see his producer predecessor okay successor relationship type producer activity status Success activity status, predecessor project, and predecessor activity name, successor, predator, pro, uh, successor project, and successor activity name. And this all this is not critical. This is two are critical. These two are driving also. So in this case, you can generate the report. If you, similarly, if you go and go open the other report, for example, I going to create open this project 001. This is project 001 is open, and here is just all the uh, information will come predecessor, successor. Okay, so similarly, you can create, you can select all the report, and all the relationship will be shown here. Okay, so you can see proje uh, predecessor project, predecessor project, but here you can see here it will not show any external link. For example, this project. PR001 containing several activities which have the external relationship also. So it's not shown. You can see this shows you three relationship. So it is mainly, uh, if you can learn from one thing here that if you want to see, if you want to generate uh, the report to create the external relationship, you need to use the uh, other option which is report tool. So this uh, uh, option for the import and export is good, but it's related to the uh, specific project only. It is not dealing with the inter project relationships so maybe uh, primary should consider this thing in the new, new uh, next update to include this also so now let's see how we can create the relationship report using the primary so we just open all the activities press control plus button open all the activities and then go tools and reports button and then select reports so once you select this one just press click the place button it will open the Modify report dialog box and just select next. And here you can see time distribution data. This time distribution data is related to something like expenses and resource assignment. So you want to know how many specific resources are required as period of time as weekly, monthly. So we are not going into detail. We will make some other video for this one. Here we are dealing with the activity relationship. So we just select activity relationship and press next. So after this one, this is the default uh, tab. Just click next. Now here we have to be careful. Just we have three options here, like in the uh, in the import export, columns, group and sort, and filter. So we just select column, 
here we have successor project so all information we require are here in the general tab so we say predecessor project we just take it up predecessor name okay predecessor id id will take it up the name and then we have predecessor detail it will come after the name similarly we have successor project okay and successor id successor name successor detail and active relationship count we no need free float okay tp keep it critical relationship type this free uh, finish start start to start is driving or no or what is the lag so this all thing you can select here and then click apply and okay then you go group and sort in the group and sort you can make on wbs basis or you can say you have project so just, just select the project it will select on the basis of the project and then click apply okay and then okay then filter if you want to make some filter for any specific activity ids or uh, requirement you can click here okay i just ignore this one and go next and then you have to create the active relationship so i just uh, go and make relationship one two three four just for uh, nothing just just for identification purpose i make activity, activity relationship one two three four and then press next then you have to go run report then you want to make uh, in the for uh, in the worksheet format so just select this detail uh, of file and view file when done and this is the location if you want to change the location you can look, change the location also or you can do it in the way you want for example my location is the project manager control and generate report here you can create this report so as already the location was there so i just go on Okay, and next, the already I just, okay, no, no, just override this one, then go next. Are they exist to override it? Yes. So you can see our report is generated now and it is the big thing the good thing is that it is a consolidated report means all the three projects are shown in the one report okay and here you can see that you have more control for example you have predecessor project so project this uh, project 01 uh, training project one uh, project 05 if you want to make it here project 01 project 0, 001 and project 005 okay and this is actually ids okay and this is like ids and this actually ids here you can see successor if the successor project if you see here this project having uh, trp001 it is only one activity is having the external relationship this is not the same of the project so this is external relationship similarly this project we have project 001 relationship here you can see that we have successor project uh, this is our successor project you can mark it okay and then this is also successor relationship okay and similarly you can mark here also this is successor this is the external link here you can see this is external link so this way you can easily filter out for example i can just put the filter here and and from this filter i can put this uh, so it will show you easily the project name and which how many project uh, which project is linked externally so this uh, by using smartly this filter option you can generate the detailed report where it's showing the external link of the project how the project is linked with the external uh, projects or you can say uh, more technically inter project links so i hope uh, i hope that this is a something good new a good idea a new idea for you uh, and if it is uh, and if you like it please consider subscribing this channel and i will keep to keep on making a helpful video for our fellow plan engineer if you have any question or any any query please write in comments uh, i will try to uh, research or investigate myself if i have my information i will use my information with some research and i try to make uh, some helpful video answering your all queries uh, till next time thank you for very much for uh, very much for your time please don't forget to subscribe and share see you in next video thank you very much take care and bye bye